They've been bracing for, for quite some time, but the rhetoric again seems to be stepping up. Uh, we've had Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, out on the front line, in near the front line in eastern Ukraine, a meeting with troops there, pictured with a flat jacket and helmet on. He was also uh, watching troops train west of the capital, Kiev, on Thursday and down in the key port city of Mariupol. So very active, very busy there in front of the camera is trying to keep up morale and Zelensky has called the latest flare-up of tensions in the eastern Donbass region a big provocation and spoken about ongoing escalation. So not using quite the same terms as uh, US politicians and diplomats or the West, uh, their allies, but still sounding very concerned and ramping up the TV appearances. And people in Kiev tell us that, you know, they've been bracing uh, with these imminent uh, threats that of war for weeks now. And there's a latent stress here among many people. They've become accustomed to these threats in some way. Uh, but they are, uh, they tell us, very worn by the constant news reports of a potential imminent uh, attack on Ukraine. Families, some families have started moving their children out of Kiev towards western Ukraine to cities such as Lviv. Uh, others uh, are signing up to join the front line and enrolling in emergency first aid uh, training. So there is a sense that things have been ramping up, but people here still very much waiting to see what will happen and lots of people still in disbelief belief that Russia could mount an attack here on the capital, Kiev, saying they think it's likely that could come, perhaps in the eastern Donbass region or around Crimea. But lots of people still very much in denial that this city could be hit hard in the coming days.